look in the global ocean, you're going to find an area that's warming. Uh, but places are warming at different rates. And right now, the Gulf of Maine is one of the fastest warming places in the global ocean. We really started looking carefully at the temperature here in the Gulf of Maine in 2012, which was our ocean heat wave year. It was the warmest year ever in the Gulf of Maine. And what set us off trying to understand uh, the, t the temperature patterns in the Gulf was, was really driven by all of the things that people were bringing into the lab. Uh, black sea bass, blue crabs, seahorses, all of these species that we think of as coming from south of Cape Cod were suddenly showing up on the shores here in Maine. And so we started looking at the temperature records, really focusing on the satellite data that goes back to the early 1980s. And when you break apart that data, uh, you see that, well, there's a, there's a gradual trend uh, that we've had in the Gulf of Maine that's about four times the global average rate. Uh, but a lot of our warming has occurred since 2004. And so from 2004 through 2016, we warmed faster than 99% of the global ocean. So when people ask me why the Gulf of Maine is warming so fast, well, it's, the short answer is that it's due to man-made global warming and changing ocean currents. And we can think of that really in three steps. So man-made global warming, we have extra carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. That means that the surface of the Earth is warming and a lot of that heat is going into the ocean. So ocean areas all over the world are warming. But the Gulf of Maine is warming faster. And why is that? Well, that's step two. So step two is that the North Atlantic uh, has a really unique uh, circulation pattern that's driven by cold, dense water that forms in the North Atlantic. Adding a little bit of fresh water due to melting in the Arctic and melting in Greenland messes up that, that cold, sinking water. And that changes the whole circulation patterns in the North Atlantic. And step three is the Gulf of Maine is in this really unique part of that, of that global circulation. So we're right at the boundary between these cold and warm water masses or cold and warm currents. And the little bit of warming, the changes in the fresh water mean that the warm current winds in the Gulf of Maine and it's just like a bathtub. We are turning on the, cold, the, on the warm water tap and we're turning the cold water tap down and the Gulf of Maine warms up really fast. It's really easy to get depressed about climate change. We see a lot of scary things uh, that are going on, a lot of predictions that are, uh, that are challenging. But I think there's, there's actually an optimistic side in that we know what uh, many aspects of what's coming our way. We know that conditions are going to get warmer. We know that sea level is going to rise. And we have time to, to act to prepare ourselves for those changes. So we can think about how to make our cities resilient to uh, rising seawater. We can think about how to manage fisheries in a way that will be resilient to the changes that are coming in the ocean. If there's one message that I would, I would want people to take from this, it's that, yeah, the Gulf of Maine is warming and that creates a lot of challenges, but it also creates opportunities. And if we figure out how to deal with the, the challenges of warming in our ecosystem, because we're experiencing these conditions at a faster rate than other places, that the solutions that we develop here can have really global benefits.